Hello, everybody. Welcome to uh, the Human Colony Hukalo TV Saturday webinar. Today's date is October 17th, 2015. It's a great date today. Today we have some guests joining us. Uh, in the room we have Ricky Will and Sheer and Roxanne Swimart and Noha and Krell and Kira Newman and JD. And then we have Sarah in Ireland, friends. There's Sean there, Harris there. And today Jim will be channeling. We're not sure who Jim's going to channel. It's going to be whomever, whomever visits. So welcome, everybody. I'm going to save announcements for the end. So I don't really have much more to add. We can get underway, Jim, when you're ready. Okay, good morning, everybody. And... Uh... Uh, it's a beautiful day here in October. The, the trees are starting to turn. It's beautiful. It's By next week, it should be optimum tree uh, leaf changing time. And we'll go out and be looking at all the trees and in their beautiful splendor as they change color. And in the room I have today with me, Ray on my left, your right. And then we have Angie, Helga, Jackie. Barbara, Mark, Mark, and Deb, of course, Deb. And it's a beautiful day. So I did not uh, ask anybody who they wanted to, to channel today. Is there any specific uh, emergency channelings that need done? <laughs> He's uh, um Angel Metatron. Client is oh, the Angel the Angel Metatron is wonderful, yes. It's been and coming fine. through a lot for people who are in need and in trouble. The Angel Metatron has uh, come through with, for many people if they're having difficulties. He seems to be a troubleshooter for uh, different life situations. So, uh, friend, that is good for grounding as well. And I didn't hear that. Uh, I learned that he's good for grounding as well. Oh, he is? Yes. Well, you have to be grounded before you can straighten yourself out. So he definitely gives you a good grounding first, for sure. The only other gym is... Oh, I'm sorry, no, I'll go ahead. One more, one more to request. Crying, my favorite, all the, all the time. Who is that? Crying, crying. Oh, crying, okay. Yes. And yeah, I know a lot of yeah, a lot of people are asking about colony information, so maybe if the court can come and give uh, the holographic update and thing like that, things like that. A lot of people are asking uh, another request for Gaia, if Gaia can come through. So anyway, yeah, whichever, right. whichever happens we'll there. Right. Excellent. We'll see who, who comes through today. And, um, yes, does it, is everybody updated on what's happening with uh, the site-to-site -site holographic? I mean, no, I talked to many people that's the things about that. Wanting to, that's the things they're wanting to find out about. Oh, okay. Very good. I understand. Let me move this a little bit down here because I want to sit back more. <laughs> oh, okay. Ask if there's any requests in the room. Is there any requests in the room? I have one. Yes. <laughs> she must have. Yes. Blue, blue avian, maybe update just with Takar, Takar as well. Okay, the blue avian. avian yeah, who's the controller aware of recent updates? Okay, and they requested in the room here a blue avian uh, to do some more uh, talking about what's going on in that in the solar system, etc. Mm -hmm. So we'll see who comes today, <coughs> and uh, very well. Um, I'm going to open with a, a little prayer, a little blessing, and um, I just want to thank Mother, Father, God, and the universe and all those that help us to be who we are, to be our perfect selves, to, to help us rise to the goodness and greatness that we can be and fill ourselves with love and light and all, and be who we are, because I think that is the most important thing for happiness on this earth is for us to understand that we cannot fit into other people's molds and we cannot fit into society's understanding of who we should be, but we have to be who we 
actually are to be happy and that that is freeing and very loving and if other people cannot accept that then you know you don't need that person in your life at that time they might but you can be a good example to them of what love and light and beauty is so that is my prayer for you this morning just accept yourself for who you are and be free in the love and light that God provides so alrighty I will do a little bit of a, my little meditation and I will be back in a while enjoy the session This is Metatron. Greetings to you all. Welcome. Thank you. This is a time of great change for the Earth and for all the energies that are there. These energies have been with you for many years. However, now they are more activated. Why? Because you are more activated. Your fourth dimensional energy now has taken effect in a greater way and so you are able to understand and enjoy these energies in a better way so when mother Gaia earth has brought these energies together now to mesh together in a way that is successful and is useful for humanity please be willing to use them there are changes in your Reiki forms there are changes in the energies that you will be using for healing of all different kinds and you will take note that they are already apparent I have witnesses here in this room actually I feel them saying yes to these things as I am speaking because they have already experienced them so this is a time of wonderful and great change for support of the ascension. Ascension being your next step in uh, evolution in the sense that you will become telepathic, in the sense that you will learn to feel each other's emotions as you become closer together. You will become more of a community and more of a loving uh, set of people. The reason why telepathy will do this is because you will know and will be able to tell when someone is grieving or sad because this will be apparent to you and you will be able to help them with that. And in the, another sense, they will be able to know when you're happy and when you're feeling a great sense of joy so that they may enjoy that as well. And your their sharing of your emotions will be a great help to Mother Earth because you will start to blend together in a greater way. It will not be that you will shun each other or not know each other for who you are, but you will feel each other's intensity of emotion and of what you are feeling at that time. So I, I am so happy that all the angels here in this realm will be helping with all the things that are necessary. Is there questions? Yes, I do. I'm so honored that you came in for my request. Uh, this is Noha. Uh, dear Angel Meditron, just any messages you've got for me? For you personally, there are many messages for each person personally in their, in their each of your journeys. 
But for you personally, you must keep patient. I know that it is hard for you to be patient, but it is a time for patience because the energies are now working. They are coming together, and you see where you need to go. I see that you are more understanding about who you are and how you feel. You are growing quickly in the spirit. You are growing quickly in understanding of what it is that you must do for yourself and how grounded you must be to be able to be successful in this. So my message is to you, be patient, it will come. Continue to work for this, but do not try. Accept what is coming to you. Accept it. Do not try to force yourself into anything, but accept what is coming to you and work with it and make it successful. Well taken, my dear angel. Thank you very much. I'm in you great, are welcome. Uh, I'm in great uh, gratitude for all of that been been said. And I understand what you said today. Thank you very much. Much love to you. Love you. Hi, Metatron. My name is Roxanne, and I do have a question. Would that be okay? That is fine. Wonderful. Um, the connection with Archangel Gabriel in my life has been reoccurring quite a bit for the last few months. It would go yes. away and come back, and and uh, I feel him or in her because I know she vibrates in both realities uh, as yes. far as male and female. So. Um, I don't know if I'm missing anything or I haven't grasped onto something. Is there any kind of a push or hint you can give me about this connection? Yes. I appreciate it. First of all, most angels look androgynous and so have been able to take on male and female personalities. However, they are not really sexual. That I want to explain to you. They are not really sexual beings, but they are androgynous beings. Now, there are others of us that do take on male or female uh, person personas, but Gabriel takes on both. So, And so does Raphael and Michael sometimes. It, it, it depends. But for your connection with Gabriel, he is telling you that he is letting you know that he is there for you at any time that you wish his presence. Do you understand that, first of all? You can call on him and he will be there because he is assisting you with your next steps. He is assisting you with your next steps as far as advancement. You will be channeling a new person, a new entity soon. And this is what he is trying to bring to you is this person that you will be uh, channeling next is a female. Mm -hmm. And she will be helping you with, and helping many others, with uh, human frailties, human thought processes. You have been through much on this earth, and it, fortunately you've had a lot of support. But there are those out there that do not have the support that you have. And therefore you will be support to many people going through such things as you're going through now. Well, that's beautiful. I would love to offer that. Absolutely. And I, it is part of who you are. It is part of your message to the world to help those to understand what they are going through and why. And that it is okay. It is acceptable. And that it is out of love of God and those that are out there to, to help them with these changes and to calm them into the person that they need to be and to also help others in this way. But your particular situation is fairly misunderstood on earth and therefore you must bring that understanding to many. Beautiful. Thank you. You're Eternal welcome. Love. Um. How are you, Metatron? Very well. My name is Sheer. Is it okay if I will ask you a couple of questions? Yes, Sheer. I knew it was you. Ah, we know each other? We always know who we are speaking to. Hmm. Okay. Uh, I want to know if there's any message for me and anything 
that will happen in the near future, like something I should know about. You are politically minded. Your thought processes are moving into a political realm because you feel that it's necessary to bring peace to certain areas of the world. You are volunteering to be to speak to those in political arenas and therefore there may be some hope for you to reach them. I am just saying be prepared know what you are going to say and know what you need to feel whenever you are with them because your example and your perseverance will be an example to these politicians and let them know that you are not just in it for yourself but you are in it for other people's benefit. Thank you very much. You are welcome. Hello Metatron. Yes. This is Sarah. Yes. Um, I have a question. I've been feeling angelic energy from myself for the last, I would say, six, almost to a year now. Yes. Does that mean I'm to be channeling an angel or because I, I know I'm, I feel like I'm one? You're, no, this is what it is, what is happening. You are channeling the angel during your toning sessions. They are helping you to make that your toning much more effective, much more powerful, and much more universal. Also, they are coming to you on your spare time and grounding you because during these to toning sessions, you become very fourth dimensional and actually leave the earth in some ways. And so therefore, you, you are moving up off out of your body in some ways to get this to reach the sounds and tonings that you achieve they are not human sounds do you are you aware of that I am aware Very well. of that, yes. therefore you must have help to do that and the angels are helping you with that the angel that is helping you the most is Ariel and and she she he is helping you with this toning ability also you do have help from Raphael for protection and you do have you are aware of Raphael's presence he is very um, he she is very obvious at times so but there are many angels helping you not just one and they are getting you through different things grounding and also returning from fourth dimension to the grounding state also giving you the sounds in your toning that do energize molecules and vi give vibrations to the earth that are necessary for healing. Thank you very much for that clarity. You are welcome. Is there others? If I can go. Is it okay? Johannes, how are you? I'm, I'm good. I'm, I'm still in the restaurant a little bit. I'm finishing off. I'm going to leave. Uh, my question to you today is, or I have two questions. Um, my telepathic abilities yes. and other abilities, including not only the telepathic, but um, it feels a little bit like I'm limited where I am doing my day-to-day -day sort of life. But I have experienced in this life that I'm able to do a lot more. Yes. Let me explain to you. You're being influenced by third dimensional uh, society and people in the third dimension. You are not aware of it completely, but your belief system is as such that right now you are limited. But open up your belief system and you will open up this limitation. You are actually not limited at any time to do anything. That is only part of your belief system and only part of the acceptance of some negativity from society and negativity from other peoples 
that might not see things exactly the same way as you do. Be yourself. Be who you are. Your telepathy is very powerful and it is not limited. You may see it as limited at this time because you have felt it in a greater way. Feeling is not necessarily part of reality because when you have a gift and you are using it, sometimes it is reaching out greater than your perception. Do you understand that? Yeah. Bring that into your belief system. Bring the belief that your perception is even greater than what you are realizing. And you will understand that it is there and it is not limited at all. Okay, thank you for that. And you are welcome. One more question. Uh, yes. I took care of a bird. I sort of found it on the way forth and back from work. And I took care of it, uh, but <clears throat> uh, he was doing fine. Like I was treating him with like antibiotics and what the doctor, what the veterinarian said that I should. Anyway, he died after eight days. So that's like two days ago. He already died. So I just wanted to know why he died because he sort. It looked like he was going better. He was really hurt and stuff like that. But. I can tell you exactly why. First of all, it was a wonderful gesture for you to pick him up and to bring him into your home and try to heal him. And this was a gesture that was seen by the avians because the, the bird species is now communicating with the earth in a greater way than ever before. Now, the very fact that you gave him a li as much life as you did was a wonderful thing. But his passing was just to let you know that he was not part of the right world at this time. Your world and his world are two different worlds. And he had to be part of his world to survive. Now, he was not well enough to survive. So therefore, he passed on. But he let you know for those first eight days how much he appreciated what you were doing. And therefore, there is no harm in saying that he left in a wonderful way and that he it was very appreciative but he could never go back to his kind again because he was not going to ever be well enough to do that and so he had to leave his will was part of that journey and so he willed himself off the earth and into another existence but he was appreciative and he realized that you f would feel grief However, he could not return and be of any purpose to his kind. And so there he had to leave. But let me explain something to you. Right now there are many birds bringing messages to those on Earth. They are being close to Earth and letting them know that they are, they are with humanity. They are with humanity and they are supporting humanity. And we thank them for that. Of course, many are migrating at this time. Many are moving about the earth in different ways. But the, the birds that stay in your area will definitely still be keeping you in touch with nature. They, this is one of their great missions, is to keep you in touch with the energies of Mother Earth. Since they are not right on the ground, the energies of Mother Earth coming together affect them slightly differently give them a little bit of a different insight of what is happening because they can look at the earth and see the changes in the energy as they happen that way because they can actually see energy. Birds can see energy. Animals can see energy and not the same way you might think but they can see the movement of the earth and the movement of the things in nature because they are connected to Mother Gaia. Do you understand that? Yeah. So therefore, their, their sight and their looking upon the land is different. And it will bring, they are bringing a different insight to humanity. Just accept it. They are showing their compassion for the things that you are going through through these changes. But they are also bringing their joy that it, it is a great change and it will be of a great measure for humanity to use. Okay, thank you. Thank you very much. You're welcome.
Krell, are you up? Krell. The man with many aliases. Are he you there? Doesn't seem to have, he doesn't seem to have audio at the minute. Understood. Will, would you like to ask your question for Maria? Yes, here we go. Actually, Maria wants to ask it herself. Yes. Greeting. Greetings. Much love, Metatron, and everyone else. Much love to you as well. I have a question. I want to know, first of all, the days like yesterday that I don't feel so 3D, what is exactly going on? You don't uh, feel 3D? Yeah, it's it's just a weird feeling. I don't know how to explain it. It's just like I'm not here completely. As I enter a room, it's just like, oh, okay. That's how, you know, that's how it, it starts. I see. I understand that now. I feel where you're coming from. You are facing different energies of the earth that are moving now. Some rooms have different energies than others and bring you to a different place of reality. You, have, you are learning how to distinguish these ding different energies and these different dimensional shifts. Let me, let me explain to you why you do not feel third dimension right at some times. You are not really from a third dimensional uh, past life. Your last past life was not in this uh, dimension. It was in a greater and higher dimension and so you brought that with you and the, it, it makes it harder to uh, become part of the third dimension because those kind of lighter dimensions t you sort of miss when you're on the earth. Now, do not be troubled because you will eventually learn to adapt to all the third dimensional things but these things that you are experiences uh, experiencing are different uh, energies that the earth is going through right now. You've experienced them for quite a long time. They've been coming for quite a while. But now they're much stronger. Is that correct? Yes, exactly. Yes, they are much stronger now and they will die down again. But when you enter certain areas, certain rooms, there may be small vortexes or energy changes within these rooms that you may not be aware of except by feeling them. Now, if you go into a room and you feel the change in that room, you can put your energy in it to, into it as well. You can change that energy into the energy that you would want it to be. Do you understand that? Yes, yes I do. I've been, I've been doing this. Very good. And so therefore you already know what to do. And do not be put off by this. Do not let it change your good nature because it is just what it is. It is a change of energies. Yes. Yeah. Would so, you please explain my connection with angels? Your connection with angels is very clear. It is that you've been helped by angels through many different things in your life and through past lives. You expect them to help you and they do because you've called on them many times and your connection with them goes far back and you have been in the angelic realm in some senses not that you were an angel but you were taken there at one time and your connection is very strong because you felt the joy that was there in those realms it would be a whole other session for us to speak about it. Okay, thank you so much. I appreciate it. You're welcome. Love and light. Love and light as well. Right, Krell, you want to try again? Gigawa. Yeah, it's not working. Crow would like to know if there's any messages for him, uh, any personal questions or personal information. Yes, there is. It is mostly from Delilah, who is his 
twin flame. And she is not, she is in the canine realm, and she wishes him great love and joy, and that she will be with him soon. That is the biggest message I have. Awesome. Thank you. I have a question for myself, uh, Metatron. Uh, do you have any uh, information you'd like for, for me, please? Yes. Your movement is very interesting. Some days you are very in tune and other days that you go right out of uh, right out of connection. But that is all right. I see that you are moving in a great direction and that you see things for yourself in the future. That your healing hands have become greater, a greater thought process for you. That you are wondering how they are to be used in the future. Your, the healing in your hands is quite different. It is not exactly the same as others, but it, it is very, very effective. And you do not even have to learn the Reiki moves to be able to use it. Do you understand that? But oh, so I can just activate them and then aim them. Yes, actually, when you think intention, they or? activate automatically, don't they? Yeah, and they kind of do, kind of like now. Yeah. <laughs> it's really warm right now. Really, they activate automatically, and you can send that healing out a uh, long distance because of your will. You can just will it. Others use symbols, and others use different things, but you can just will your energy to go out. A symbol is not necessary for you. That is what I have for you right now. Okay, thank you. Yeah, I've been spending some more time by the water. They, they asked me to spend more time by water, so I've been trying to go a couple of times a week down to the lake here and, and hang out with the creatures, the turtles and things. And that's all, is that all doing what it's supposed to be doing? Your grounding with nature is beautiful. The energies of nature are changing, and that is part of your healing, yes, because the healing energies that are coming now are stronger, and they don't need as much symbolism as they did before. And this is what I am telling you, and you are now understanding why you are down by the lake and understanding nature great in a greater way. Mother Gaia is, has changed, and her energies are stronger. Okay, awesome. I see that we have a, a question from member Sean who doesn't want to ask his question yet. Can we have Sean come up? Sarah, okay. can you mute Sean, her? Sean, yeah. go ahead. Sean. Go ahead, okay. Sean. So it seems, oh, I just want to say, Metatron, I freaking love you. You know, I just love you so much. And I love all the other angels that are around me too. And I just want to say to them, you know, thank you. And I just want to say to you, thank you. And I just love you uh, from the deepest of my heart. But apparently, Will says you have a message for me. <laughs> you have a great spirituality. You understand spirituality very well. You are going to be a leader when it comes to bringing spirituality to others. You have a very simple understanding, which is great. Your understanding is pure. Your understanding is uncluttered. Stay that way and bring that message to the world because it is uncluttered and beautiful. Your soul is pure. You have great understanding of spiritual things. And what the things that are going through in your third dimensional life have helped you to understand others' greatest needs. And so you can bring understanding to those that may not anyone else bring understanding to. You have reached people where no one else has. You have spoken to people about their problems when they cannot be reached by others. You have a great gift for giving and loving and acceptance. We look at you and we find that you will rise up as a holy man. I'm speechless. <laughs> no, no words. Bless you. Bless you and I love you so much and I love all the angels that are around me all the time and I just like to thank you for protecting me and guiding me and just helping me learn and helping me teach people. 
blessings to you. Move forward in your light. Continue on this journey, for it will bring you great joy. Also, it will bring you great hardship, but that hardship will also bring you to an understanding that not many have. Namaste. Namaste. Metatron, before um, we go further, do you have any um, information or news or wisdom that you can impart to the Hukalo group, the Hukalo family? I know we've been going through so much, all the moon energies, everything else. It's just been really a crazy year. Uh, is there anything that you can say to, uh, to help the folks along? Yes. Do not be too troubled by those that do not believe exactly the same way you do. Remember what I said at the beginning. You must be your perfect self. You must be grounded in who you are as the perfect, perfect person that resonates with you. This may not get along with everybody, but there is a reason for that. There is a reason for you to be this, the way that you are. There is a reason for you to communicate the way that you do. There's a reason for the way God deals with you and your perception of him. Do not be troubled by all these, these things. They are just what they are. They are third dimensional troubles and you can move through them. Unconditional love says when you look at someone else, you see their goodness, their greatness, their beauty, not all their flaws. And if they should bring their flaws to you, you do not have to accept them as yours. But just let them be who they are at that time. Be the example of all the goodness and greatness that you are. And perhaps these flaws that are within them will someday be resolved. But right now, you do not have to worry about others worry about yourself for the moment bring yourself into a perfect alignment with God because there is no way to love the world unless you love yourself and if you love yourself then the world will see that and you can bring it to the world in an accepting way does that make sense to you now there are growing pains for every society and every community that is what you are going through. Plus, you are feeling Mother Gaia Earth's changes in, in energies and thought processes and things of this nature. But do not be troubled by it. Being troubled by it is only another negativity that you have to resolve. So, therefore, accept it and do with it what you will. Bring into as much acceptance as you can with other people. Find the love and the good in them and work with that. And then you will resolve yourself as a community. There will always be those that are going to try to bring you down or discourage a community or bring some negativity to it because of one reason or another. And some of them are personal and some of them are not. But you know who you are, and you know the powers that you're dealing with. You know God as a creature of acceptance, love, guidance, mercy, grace. And therefore, accept that. And accept that as who you are as well, because he is part of you in your soul. So that is part of who you are. Now, your negativities, you can work on that on your own, but don't give them to other people. You may discuss them with other people, but don't put your negativity on them by calling them names or giving them the feeling that they are not good. Because what you are doing when you do that, when you argue or push things out to others, is you are showing who you really are. You are really not speaking to them. You are speaking to yourself. You are telling yourself that there is something in, the, in you that needs resolved. 
Do you understand that? Because otherwise, you would try to help them and not put them down. It is something in you, yourself, that needs resolved if you push that out. You're projecting yourself. Every word that you say projects yourself. Otherwise, you wouldn't say it. Remember that. You're projecting yourself when you meet others and give them examples of who you are. That is who you are, what you say, how you feel it, when you bring it out. So if you say, you're a bad person, you're really saying, I'm a bad person. There's part of you that believes that. Do you understand that? Yes. Because you are what you exude. Metatron, yeah. that is absolutely epic. Thank you. That was beautiful. Thank you. Is there angel? I have a question. Yes, there is a question in the room first. Okay. Yes? Um, I have been going, driving to work every day, and every day there are birds on the road as I get to them, and then when I get to them, they fly away. Is there meaning in that? Yes. Mm -hmm. They want you to make sure that you are paying attention to them. Because they do have a message. Mother Earth is part of the message for you. You need to come to nature a little more. You need to become, you are dealing with a lot of third dimensional uh, aspects. And some of these things are very trying. And so they are telling you, witness us. Become a little more earthly with us. Become a little more part of nature and use those energies in your third dimension because they are natural. And you are very good at using nature. However, right now, there are times when you get to a point where you're very frustrated. So that's what Mother Nature is saying to you. Is She is saying, use me. Let my nature come into you because you're dealing with earthlings, you're dealing with those things that are people. Use me as part of your nature to deal with these things and be calm. And you are mostly calm. But there are times when you get very frustrated. Bring Mother Earth in when you feel that frustration. Ground yourself to Mother Earth when you feel that frustration. Because she is trying to help you. Because these children that you work with are not grounded. And they need you to be grounded as much as possible. Thank you very much for that. You're welcome. Noha. Yeah, dear angel, if there's no any questions, uh, just let us before you leave. I can hardly hear you. If there's no any more questions, please let us before you leave. I cannot hear. I, I did not hear what she said. Uh, to say a blessing before you leave? Yeah, before oh, yes, you, I can. Uh, before you leave. Yeah. Yes. Did you? I will do that right now. Is there someone else you want me to bring afterwards? Quiet, if you will. Quiet. Help me? One moment. There are those that are here that are waiting to come. So I will give you a blessing and let the one that is supposed to come, come. One moment, please. For Shasa, Shalom Kororaya, Tisufuti. Mahul hashusha sasasa, amphia forfora, umosu kuriyeroaha, yatia sila, amphusu hukashundi, sekiyarara, mohondehua, ora gumdasashun siya kashinta, mukogwa, nishinyan tiata forfa, ah, pasham shasham siati. The translation is, may the peace and understanding of God be with you. Emanate and elevate your thought processes into his thought processes. Be who he wants you to be, because that is a great being. 
that is one that will make a difference of the on the earth and through the earth be all that you are and use your talents likewise Form a thought process within you that gives him glory and thanks every day, for he is who you are emanating to the world. Much love and peace. Bring yourself happiness and bring yourself joy. Much love. Thank you very much. Well appreciated. What was that? Shalom v'amon ava. Shalom muraro. Yerava osiyaza. Uh, I am Zakur. Hello, Zakur. Greetings. Hello, Zakur. They thought it important that I come and give an update. For those are many who want to know more information about what is happening with the colonies and the governments of your planet. Therefore, I will be here shortly, only to say that they, it has been approved for holographic <laughs> transport. However, they have given us a, a many rules and regulations. They do not want it to be a site-to-site -site holographic, but they will agree to have you come to the, the colonies in spirit form and then take on a holographic image, which is fine with us. They do not want holographic images being seen on Earth. They feel that that would be disruptive and many people would be frightened by it. So we will bring each person in the spiritual form, in the astral form, and then when they arrive at the colonies, we will add light to their form and become they will become holographic. And therefore, we will give them an interview or an introduction to this form of presentation into the fourth dimension because it is different. Some of you may not want to come into the holographic and that is still fine. We can still bring you in the astral projection form if you do not want to come in and become holographic. Now, there are many rules and regulations for us that we have not continue uh, have not addressed yet. There are still some that are needing to be addressed. But we are addressing them as time goes on. But it seems like things will move rather quickly at this point. Since the greatest point of contention was the holographic images on Earth, then after that some of the rules and regulations become less important. So we will be bringing more information about this in the near future once all the rules and regulations that your governments want ironed out have been approved. I do not see that it will be long from now. We were hoping that it would not take a, a long process and it appears that it will not be. So we are very thankful about that. Is there any questions? I can only entertain a couple because there's others waiting to come. Yeah, we have three right now. The first one from Krell. Those are the only ones I will take. There will be no more after these three. Continue. Krell's audio still isn't working. He can type it on the side chat. Uh, will, can you uh, come ask your question, please? Will, are you there? Hi, Tucker. This is Maria. Hello. I am Much very love. well. Much love. Much it love. is good to hear from you in a way that I'm hearing right now through Jim. It's been a long time. 
thank you. Yes, I just wanted to tell you that I love you. And I sometimes I miss you and I sometimes I feel you around. Thank you. I'm like, glad you were aware. Yes, like when we when I was in Enchanted Rock, I felt you. Oh yes. 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 <laughs> That's it. I just wanted to tell you that I really appreciate y'all all of you. Thank and, you so much. Yeah, and I'm yeah, and I always sending my love and gratitude. Thank you so much. And I love you as well. Yes, thank you. That's all. Namaste. Krell's question was how did the aliens drawings that he made of them? Oh. And he wants to know if any aliens will be projected to Earth through the holographic uh, agreement. They will not. They will come astrally because your governments do not want astral projections to be seen on Earth. They are afraid others will see it and be confused of what's happening. So we have agreed that the astral projections will continue. But when they re when they reach their different colonies they will be put into holographic form. This is not quite as easy as the original idea, but it can be done, and we are bringing the computations into uh, reality right now. He wants to know about the drawings that he made. The drawings are amazing seen. and magnificent. Thank you very much. Thank you. Uh, sure. Are you uh, free? Yes. Hello, Taku. How are you? I am very well, Sheer. How are you? I'm wonderful. Uh, do you have a minute to spare? Just a minute. Yes. Uh, first of all, uh, I want to know if my information that I um, transferred to Grendel um, was passed and if he got my message. If you know it is 80% complete. He did get your message, but not all the messages have been passed yet. There are still one or two people that he is passing them to that he has not gotten to at this point. Okay, that's wonderful. And um, the, um, another, um, the holographic travels, the way that they are going to be, is it different or in the they, sense of how much we can recollect? Yes, hopefully you'll be able to remember more after you've been into the holographic form. Let me explain. Astral, astral form is spiritual form, which means that it's not being able to be seen. But when you add light to it and put it in a different uh, computation algorithm, if you will, it becomes and you become a light being and that is something different it's like a holographic being and you will be able to perceive more in a light being a sensation I'm not sure if I'm saying it right but you'll be able to sense more being a light being and therefore um, we hope that you will be able to bring back more information and more visual information as well Okay, and am I scheduled to come this month? Yes, but I do not have that by me right at the moment. Okay, and is it going to be uh, holographically or still? You will astral? go in. You will leave your body astrally, and when you re when you come to the colonies, they will give you the holographic images that you, the body that you need. Oh, so it's going to happen this month. It's as soon as the rules and regulations are ironed out. Ah, thank you very much and so much to you, uh, to you for me, for my brother, also for my father and mother. Thank you very much. You are welcome. Have a wonderful day. You too. All right, it is time for me to go. There is someone else coming. Thank you, Tikkur, for coming in. Thank you. I hope that answers most of your questions. It was very short. But it is not really for me to be here today, so I will leave. Bye bye, Tucker. Love you. Love you. Goodbye, and I love you all.
Mm, yeah. <laughs> Hello, everyone. Hey, Lakash. <laughs> no, it's not Lakash. <laughs> I am Mother Earth Gaia. Hello, Gaia. Much love. Love you. Hello, how are you? <laughs> we love you very much. I just wanted to come very shortly and let you know that the energies are complete. Mm -hmm. They have combined successfully and they have been part of me for a long time and I am so glad now <laughs> that things are going to be much better for you. It has been a long time coming that they are activated for this purpose of healing, understanding and upward movement. <laughs> So my love for you is great. I cannot stop laughing because I know that the goodness of the earth is increasing. Even though there are places on my planet, on me, that is just horrendous at this time. But it, it's more like a pimple. I will have to take care of it with some other energies. And yes, we all in our bodies have some frailties and problems and diseases and things. But therefore, I am so happy to be a part of you. <laughs> much love to you and much joy. Is there a question from anyone about the energies? It was just going to had time for some questions. Yes. Yeah, what, what can you tell us about the energy so far? I mean, everything will be expanding now from here. Well, as you know, there was some troubles. There was much energy in flux. There was many people, much things on the earth where there was technical difficulties during that period when the energies were in great flux. <laughs> But let me tell you that the, it is calmed down to a point where they are in almost completely integrated now and things are much better. So we, that is my report on the energies. Did you want to know something else about them? How much healing there it will come from them? <laughs> it will kind be of a gathered. wonderful era. A wonderful era. <laughs> Kind of gathered there would be extra healing going on, as what Metatron yeah. was even saying. That, um, we won't Watch. need uh, some of the older methods of doing things. We can do things just with focused attention now. Yes, this is possible now. <laughs> yes, and I know that you are looking forward to the new energies in ways that you you haven't even thought of yet. So it is for me to tell you that they are there now, but. You must have some discovery. Let them let yourself be creative with discovering these energies, with bringing them into yourself and making them useful in your everyday lives. <laughs> Can you give us a heads up on some of these shifts that are happening in you within the Earth? Hi, it's so nice to have you here. Oh, thank you. Um, some of the shifts within the energies of the Earth to Tetron, the plates which I know the dark have tried to create more catastrophe and thank goodness for the light and and the um, ships <laughs> keeping the uh, keeping it from becoming a catastrophe. Catastrophe here. Yeah. Can you tell us a little more of what is going on, what can be foreseen? Oh, what can be foreseen? Yes, there is a lot of different things coming. It will be like a, a little bit like an age of magic because there will be energies that you're not used to coming alive and being part of, part of who you are and it will be scientific. It's not going to just be poof magic. <laughs> but words are strong. Words and, 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 and the use of words are strong. And so words will have a greater strength in the future and therefore that's why magic it will seem like magic mm -hmm. because words take on a greater strength a greater ability to heal a greater ability to control things and of course negative words have the same the same increase in strength so therefore that's why 
I am here to tell you that to use the positive words as much as possible to bring your life into a more positive realm, to bring your life into a more positive energy field. You see, <laughs> I can't help but laugh because you are such silly people. <laughs> but we, but it is true that that the realm of understanding is in your words. Your words gather great strength. And as you believe that your words are strong, and as you believe that they make a difference in your life, so they shall. So bring your positive words, bring your positive feelings, bring your positivity into a way that creates Things. You can create things with your words. And that is the law of attraction. <laughs> but this will be the law of attraction times ten. So it will be a much greater, much greater existence. Create. That is what I'm saying. Give, uh, give yourself positive creation. How is that? <laughs> Leave those negative words out because they are strong too. You realize how an argument can fill a room with negative things. How an argument can make the light seem dimmer. So therefore, bring those positive words so that the light can shine through it all. You can break up that, that negativity like that. Can you tell us more about the plates and the portals and the openings? There's been so much oh, yes, 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 yes. Well, the well the, there's it's an inter, intricate grid. Mm -hmm. It's a grid of different uh, capacities. It's there. <laughs> there's energy grids and then there's energy grids. Then you have the the thirteen skulls, mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. then you have the the twelve. Port uh, the twelve stargates mm -hmm. that are the main ones, mm -hmm. and then you have the all the smaller small uh, stargates, and then you have the opening of the new portals that is going on. All the different things that are happening right now. <laughs> so many portals being opened right now. So many, and these are to power the stargates more because these portals have been closed up. Long ago, so that no one can use the port of the stargates to their fullest energy. But now, <laughs> in this day and age, you will have these vortexes and portals being opened wider, and the ones that are already open will become stronger, and the stargates that are broken will be fixed because there are half of them are broken at this point. <laughs> really? Because you're a stargate. Well, I'm a stargate to a point, but I'm not the ones that were created by others. I'm talking about alien-made stargates. I'm a stargate in a different way. I was not alien-made. No. So that is, I'm not talking about myself per, in particular. I do have my vortexes that need open. Uh -huh. Yes, that's the part that's me, the vortexes, that will feed the stargates. <laughs> okay, okay. So, but therefore, but these other stargates were not made by me, or not part, not really me. So, you will understand who I am later. I am not to talk about myself today. <laughs> oh, okay. So, therefore, I will uh, just let you know that there is much energy. The tectonic plates, yes, still going to be a problem. Yes. Still going to be a problem, and volcanoes and weathers and things of this nature. That will not calm down quite yet. No. That is not that not is not part of the happy good things that I am here to report. Because they are going to actually get a little worse. Mm -hmm. They're going more than a little worse. But uh, we won't discuss that right now because I am here to tell you that you can use your energies in greater ways now. Get in touch with it. Go to nature. Find me, find me, find me, <laughs> find me. And that is all I have to say. What other questions do you have? Thank you. Hi, Jaya. This is Sarah. Hi, Sarah. <laughs> Hi. Thank you so much for what you do. 
Thank you. And I just would like a little bit more clarity because I find that I just feel like I'm playing sometimes and I have no <laughs> idea what's going on. <laughs> Sometimes humanity does not have a clue. You are a piece of the puzzle. If you put your piece of the puzzle in place, then you are doing a wonderful job. And you have done so. <laughs> you. But you are part of the puzzle, and there's many people that are part of the puzzle pieces. So therefore, but you may be a bigger piece than some other pieces, and you may be a sunshine piece or an earth piece or a tree piece or whatever it is, but it is important to make the whole picture work. Do you understand? <laughs> yes. Well, we just wanted to it's know the that. best way I can report it. <laughs> yes. And thank you. You are unique. You have uniqueness. And thank you for the waters. They are, it, it expands out. It expands out. Do you see the, a vibration? They call it a butterfly effect. <laughs> where one thing affects another, 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 and the butterfly effect is taking place with you, and all the waters of the earth will be affected. But you see, do you know what else that means? That means the dolphin and whale population, and all the fishes and everything else, will be affected. Do you realize that the Dolphin and Whale uh, Alliance is very strong here on Earth now? And they are bringing, they are taking, you see, you have the, the light between you is all connected, correct? And they bring that light into the water. They're light holders. They hold the light for the universe and for the world, for this world, from the universe and from other people. And so they bring that light across the oceans. Where people aren't connected, the dolphins and the whales bring the light across. It's beautiful. <laughs> and so therefore, you have strengthened them and the new energies have strengthened them and they are light holders. They bring in and hold the light for this planet. You understand that? <laughs> oh, very well, very well. Thank you so much. Thank you. You are welcome. Thank you, my dear, for making your piece of the puzzle so beautiful. <laughs> Thank you. I love you. Love you, too. <laughs> Oh, is there any more questions? Yes, this is Will. I Hello, have, Will. <laughs> I would love to express my love for you, Gaia. I really appreciate your guidance. The work that you give me to do absolutely brings me much joy. The, the people I touch because of you and the work on Enchanted Rock, the work in the vo creating the vortices. Yes. I look forward to doing more work for you. Much love. Well, you are my nature boy. <laughs> you have much love for nature and you spend much time there. And I so much appreciated all the things you did for the moons. Ah, they appreciate it. We are together, brother and sister, 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 brother, brother. Oh, it doesn't matter. But it is a connection between us. You ground us to one another, and we love each other in that sense. <laughs> yes, it is, it is my, my pleasure, my highest level of excitement. Excellent. Um, and and thank Brian, you. too. Yes. And Brian is another one of my nature boys. Ah, he is just working with nature all the time. Absolutely. He is, he is I fabulous. Love you. I love so, it. So thank you for making that divine connection between us two. Thank you. <laughs> you are so welcome. And I want to thank much. you for the information on the changes to Reiki. Uh, much appreciated. <sighs> it is one of my highest mm -hmm. excitements to be able to bring this to the earth. Yeah. I very much appreciate that. <laughs> Yes, you have given, been given special information. There are people around the world that have felt the differences in their Reiki, and there are people that are feeling it once the Reiki has been given to them, that it is now different. And they are going, what is, 
different about the Reiki now. <laughs> and they are also feeling it already. But it will happen. It will be explained and it will be presented in a beautiful way. Thank you very much. <laughs> and you spoke earlier about manifestation and I have noticed that manifestation has changed recently. <laughs> it is way more powerful and <sighs> that manifestation, personal manifestation got easier and yes. that manifestation for the highest good of the collective has gotten way more powerful. So if you could talk a little bit about that, that would be amazing. And I would much Actually, I did, I did mention it just earlier that um, you can create greater than you ever can before because of your energies. Remember the how I was talking about words and how strong and how creative they can be now? They are strong. They are stronger than they have ever been. And they will grow in their strength because they will become almost magic. You will be able to speak certain words. You will find that there are certain keywords in your language that when you speak them, changes will happen very quickly. Not Maybe not immediately that second, but within a very short period of time. And this is something that you must discover. And you are. it is not ready to be discovered yet. <laughs> But I'm telling you to seek it out, because the more you seek, the more you will find. <laughs> and I am just letting you know that there is more than one. It's more than one keyword, and it's more than one creativity that you will be able to bring into your reality. The joy and the anticipation of all these things should be very great around you right now. It's wonderful. <laughs> Hi, dear Gaia. Hi, Mother. Hello. How are you, child? <laughs> I'm doing great. I just wanted to express my love for my Yes, thank you so much. Your love and gratitude is always welcome. Remember, I also want to let you remind you. <laughs> Send me any energies that you need cleansed. If you find that there's energies around you that are not positive, send it with the intent of cleansing and I can do that for you. And recycle it into your planet, into your world, into your density in a way that is more positive. <laughs> I call that fertilizer. Ah! <laughs> Yeah, thank that you, Mother so Gaia. Funny. That's what I've been doing. <laughs> you usually think of dung as fertilizer, but this is beautiful kind of fertilizer. <laughs> I see. I prefer the natural fertilizers, so yes, I agree. <sighs> is there any other questions or comments? And then no, I will go. We have several. Yes. Yeah. 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 Wendy. Hello, Mother Gaia. I am so pleased to be here today. <laughs> I, oh, you are another one of my nature children. <laughs> yes, I am. I, I speak to you in everything. I feel you in everything. I, I, I love the relationship that we have. Oh, thank, um, thank you, I, dear. I, I feel you in the forest every day. I feel such a deep connection to the earth and the harvest and the sky and the forest and the birds. And I know you're with me. And can you can you tell me a little bit about our walks together? Um, the information that I'm bringing through the light, yeah. the light codes. Um, I feel I feel portals opening around me. Um, could, you, could you share with me a little bit about our work together, please? Yes, well, you're, the, the portals are opening automatically because of your energy. You're su you have such a high energy output that it automatically stimulates some of the portals to open. You cannot be calmed down. <laughs> you are one big ball of energy. <laughs> so I've been told. 
But that is a wonderful thing. Walk in the forest. Have you noticed the birds around you, dear? Oh, they collect around me as I walk, Mother Gaia. Yes, they walk around you, don't they? I can't believe it. By the thousands, they flock around me. I can't believe yes, it. they flock around you, I know, because of your energy field, yes. So, therefore, that is what I'm telling you, is that your energy is growing even greater. As the energies change, you're becoming part of that change, and your brilliant and wonderful energetic personality and uh, energetic system is helping the earth to open vortexes. So that is what you're, you're doing for me right now. <laughs> oh, thank you. Can, you. can you tell me a little bit about maybe some of the um, entities that are joining me in the languages? I feel that you're with me. Speaking yeah. <laughs> with them. Are you speaking with me with them? Yes, I'm speaking through them with you as well, but I have my own language with you. You and I just personally speak when you are out in the forest, when you're with the trees, when you touch the trees, that's when I speak to you the most because they are connected directly into me, and so you can feel my energy directly from the trees. <laughs> Yes, thank you so much for the validation. I knew that. I, I feel them so much. I feel as if they speak to me, that you speak to me through them. Thank you yes, so much. The other species and creatures that are around you are wonderful, but they have. I can tell them what uh, some things, but they have their own messages for you, and that I cannot interfere with. Yes, they do. Thank you very much. Do you? Do you? Is there any other? Any other messages that you can share with me about um, bringing, <laughs> bringing the light or, or messages through the videos? You are doing fine. It will come, yeah. More will come in time. The more energy changes for you, the better. Hello. I'm here. I said the more that the energy changes, the more that you will be aware of them. So do not... Do not be too impatient, my dear. <laughs> I am not, thank you. Thank you for being with me. Very well. Have a wonderful day. Nashia Koyomalia Satalia. Thank you. Satalia Kasha Sivya. Stephen. Hello, Mother Gaia. Hello, Stephen. I'll send you much love. Send you as much love it as well. Yeah. Uh, I'm just uh, curious if there's uh, any messages that I would be in my health and uh, activations. Yes. Just go and step on the earth in your bare feet and just feel the energy come up and feel, you see, <laughs> Let me report about allergies now. You allergies should disappear. Why? Because I am part of the earth. You are part of the earth. And allergies are things that don't agree with me. And if you agree with me, if you are part of who I am, why should you have an allergy? Dust should not be a problem. It should just be the synthetic things on Earth that you're allergic to, not natural things, because you are nature. You are part of me. <laughs> Why should I make you sick? I would not do that. I would not do that. Of course not. So therefore, if you are sick in any way, and it has anything to do with nature, then you should not have it anymore. If you believe that you are in one with the energies of the earth and with Mother Gaia, your allergy should diminish and go away. Your health should be better when you connect to Mother Gaia. Why? Because I wish you good energy and good health. I'm a healer as well. Don't forget that. <laughs> I heal many things. If your belief system encounters me and believes that I am a healer, you will be healed. 
because if you lay down and sit on the grass and ask for my healing energy, why shouldn't I give it to you? Believe that I can. <laughs> because I have healing energy. The energies of the earth are healing. They are part of who you are. But if you block me, of course it will not happen. If you don't believe that I can do it, it won't happen. Your belief system is important. You have free will. You have free will. And I will not heal you against your will. <laughs> you must ask for it. <laughs> and if you asked, it will be given. <laughs> oh, being here is such a joy. Steve, was that all, or you have more? I know, I'm good. I appreciate it. I'll pass the mic. Much love. Much love. Anna, are you ready? Yes, I am. Hello, beautiful. <laughs> Hello, how are you? I'm okay. Um, thank you first uh, for all your support during my meditations in nature. I can really you feel that. You, you are wonderful and a giving person. And I, you have to release, you have to believe that the things that you are going to can end. And then they will. But I think that sometimes it is so hard for third dimensional beings to understand what is happening. People are forcing you into, into a submissive role and you are a leader. You are wonderful and beautiful, just like this beautiful sparkling pyramid triangle. That is you, and you can shine out and change things, but you must believe it. I can help you. I love you. But it is so hard in the third dimension to hold on to the things of Earth and actually let yourself. You know, sometimes you just have to let everything go and be who you really, really are. And you say, oh, but who I really am is nobody. Wrong. <laughs> you are somebody and somebody very special. I love you. Well, thank you. Me. Thank you for that. You are wonderful. You are healing. Do you know that you heal people online? Do you have you any idea? Ah, something is blocking her in information. Do you hear that? <laughs> Let her hear it fully. I didn't I didn't get that. That was just that was something coming in and Yes, what I wanted to say to you is that you have a healing nature online. People bring, you give other people healings and you don't even realize it, do you? That is my, that is one of my, that was part of my question because I believe that at least what I've experienced is that I heal others and once they are healed that, that what they had launches into me. Ah, give it to me. Send it down through your legs, into your feet, into Wait. the ground, and I will recycle it. Because you cannot hold it in your person, because that will cause sickness and illness, because you do not want to take on other people's problems and hold them in. Let them go. Release it through your hands, through your skin, down through your feet. Mother, I... I just would love to replenish you. You see, those are the things that you are holding on to that are causing you not to expand. Do not hold on to them. Send them to me and I will revigorate them. I will make them pure. Uh, things like what? Whatever it is that you're bringing into yourself from others. So my question actually is that since some time um, I'm extremely angry and upset and have a twisted perception I realize that it is not true but yes it is it is it's like I forgot it's like I, I don't know I can't 
get myself into that higher state again like I used to. I used to just be able to do it, but now I just don't know. It just doesn't happen. Is it my energy or is it this um, this telepathic? I'm I'm extremely sensitive and I can sense all the negative energy of others, and I feel like I become it, and I don't know how to get rid of it. I do. Let me tell you. You first of all, whenever you're starting to feel anything negative, fill that room with those strong, powerful words. Do you understand what I'm saying? Love, beauty, prosperity even, joy, happiness. Fill your room with the power of these words because you will chase away the negativity. You must find it in yourself to speak against it. Speak against the negativity. Do not accept it and do not say, can't. I heard that word. There is no such thing as can't. No such thing as can't. Unless you believe there is a thing as can't. But there is no such thing as can't. Do you understand that? Intellectually, yes. <laughs> Intellectually, but fill your room with powerful words. Fill your heart with powerful words. Fill your mind with powerful words. Do not dwell on those negativities. <laughs> because what happens? Negative. Negativity begets negativity, begets negativity, begets negativity. You must get out of that cycle. You must get into the positive, begets the positive, begets the positive. Now, I know many people go, I cannot do that. There is no such thing as can't. <laughs> there is only can't when you believe there is can't. And I love you so dearly. And there's healing for you. You have much healing to do, but you need to step into the positive words. Because what happens, even though you do not feel them, they still have their own life, their own energy. And then eventually, guess what? You start to feel them. You start to know that they're there. You start to understand them. And guess what? Positivity begets positivity begets positivity. Instead of the negativity begetting the negativity. You see the cycles. My dear, everything runs in cycles on the earth. <laughs> There's the cycle, the spinning, the, the seasons, the, the, the cycles of human beings in their blood systems, their energy systems, their moon systems, their sun systems. So therefore, create your cycle. Create your positive cycle. You mean momentum, okay. right? Have someone help you with it. <laughs> have someone help you with it and fill your life with a positive thing. Healing is so positive and you do that, but yet you're, you believe in that. You believe in your healing. You believe in the positivity that you are sending out and that is wonderful and you love yourself for that, but you're accepting the negativity in the cycle. And so therefore, my dear, <laughs> you have to find a way to create the positive, and that's with positive, powerful words. That is the first step. It seems like, what are words going to do? <laughs> when they take on the energy that you speak them in, their intent, you say happiness, love, and joy. How? And you don't feel it. You don't feel it, do you? You say happiness, love, and joy, but they're out there. But if you fill your life with them, if you continually speak these words, you're going to start to feel them. You're start to going to understand them, and you're start going to start to change what it is that is happening with you. And I want to see that. Have someone help you. If you want to call on somebody to speak happy words into your life, do so. 
but it is the beginning. When people have no way out, you must have a little drive to speak the positivity. Speak it. Speak it. Because then it can eventually become who you are. Does that make sense to you? Yes, it does. Be who you are because you are trapped right now and you are going to be a bright, shining star one day. But you must get out of this. This is why they are trying to keep you down. Do you understand that, my dear? There are many forces forcing you. All the things around you seem to press in on you. Guess what? Don't accept it. Don't accept it. Yeah, I uh, this is uh, I think that there is someone some I don't know if it's physical or non-physical but there is an energy that is specifically forcing me and trying to remember. Call on Mother Gaia, bring your energies up from me. Call on Father God, Mother Father God, the universe, the creator. We'll work together. We'll meet you at the heart. But you have to believe that we are working for you because we love you. <laughs> and we do. And I am not laughing at you, but I'm laughing at you. I'm not I'm laughing with you for your future. <laughs> not laughing at you. <laughs> I would not do that, my dear. <laughs> no, no, of course not. I love you dearly, and you have many gifts. Healing is only one of them. Channeling is another. But you must get out of this perpetual darkness, and you must create it yourself. You must be the beginning of it. You must take the initiative, because to get out of it, it must be by your will. You have free will. You can call on God and me and everyone else, but you must take the first steps by doing the positive thing. <laughs> Thank you, Gaia. Thank you. I love you. Start doing the positive things, saying the positive words. Don't stop. Even if it seems like they're not working, they're working. I'm telling you. <laughs> Don't stop until it works. It's the law of attraction as well. Because positivity, you're drawing the positivity to you. You're drawing that positivity with the positive words. Do you understand that? I know. But these I know. words have power of their own. And once you don't even have to feel them. You don't have to feel them at first. You just have to say them and fill the room with them. You just have to become one of those words one time. And then you start to feel it. And then when you start to feel it, then it becomes much, much easier much more easy. Yeah. Well, thank you very <laughs> much. I really appreciate it. A lot. I, I'm so grateful to be able to speak to you in such a tangible way. Thank you very much. You are welcome. I must go now unless there's more questions. We have several more questions if you have the time. Do the I have first the question time? I'd like. <laughs> Do you have the time? Yeah, you should. You have all the time, don't you? You have all the time. I can answer um, a few more questions. Go ahead. Awesome. There's there's some question about the activity at Yellowstone Park. I guess there's ah. a volcano there or something that's uh, thinking about let becoming explain, active. Can you share? Let me explain Yellowstone Park to you. Yellowstone Park was the greatest volcanic event that the earth has ever seen. It took hundreds of miles. A, a whole area of land was destroyed by volcanic activity. That's why you have so many hot springs and things that are connected very closely underground to great heat and lava. Yes, it is a volatile area. And yes, I understand what it is. And if it would ever explode again the way it did the first time, the planet would be ruined. And it's not going to happen that way again. 
So let me tell you what is going on there. There is some activity. The, the, the West Coast, as you call it, is in great danger at this time uh, for uh, earthquake or seismic <coughs> activity. They're well overdue for some activity there, well overdue for large seismic activity. However, there are those that are keeping things in check there, but um, it is impossible to hold it back forever. But it can be brought down in size somewhat. So that is what we are working on doing. So, but uh, yes, there is much activity in the Yellowstone area, and there will be some uh, vol volcanic and earthquake activity there, but not what they are expecting. We are trying to bring it down, but at this point, it is volatile. Yes, but we would not wish that to be something that would destroy the earth. That would not be a good thing. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. I have a question about I have a question about the oceans. Would it be in the human's best interest to begin to desalinate the oceans at a slow pace? Would that be helpful to the planet? Yes, but who is going to do it? Well, I don't know. It would have to be a slow I don't process. See anybody volunteering, no hands are raised. But uh, yeah. <laughs> but I don't see they th to do that would cost so much money for them to do that. But there will be some cleansing of the earth and the oceans with the new energies as as Sarah has started that cleansing process, and that is a beautiful thing and. There are other species that are helping with the, the cleansing of the oceans as well. Awesome. Thank you, Gaia. Uh, Zach, you're, you're up. <laughs> Hi, Mother Gaia. Thank you so much for everything, truly. Oh, you're Appreciate welcome. <laughs> um, I wanted to ask a question about um, this company. I'm in the process of starting. Uh, I want it to be in an example or reflection for others to see that we can work more in alignment with you and I just wanted to get your advice, input, um, whatever you have to offer. Ah, I know what I, I, yes. You and your father are working together, is that correct? No, not really. You ought to work with him. I thought you were working with him. No, this is a jewelry uh, company and I'm using uh, crystals and other aspects of you uh, in it. He's helped me a little bit, but um, not directly. Yeah. I see. Okay. I had. He thinks he's helping then. Okay. <laughs> I see that. He believes he's helping. You're not so sure. <laughs> okay. Yes. I will give you some direction on that. Because I don't um, want to overuse you, and I'm trying to have it be an example for others to see that we can work in alignment with you. Ah, uh, there is no question that you are already working in alignment. You have taken all the precautions and right steps to make sure that everything is purified, clear, and beautiful. So therefore, yes, I am working with you. I would like you to see, to bring those crystals into the sun for a day. Okay. And let them sparkle. And let my energy come into them and your sales will improve. Okay. All right. But that's all I have to say right now because you are very artistic. You are very much in charge of what is happening and you definitely have my cooperation. Thank you very much. Well, thank you. Appreciate it. Much love. Much love. Harris, are you ready? Harris. Go. Hey. I do not hear anything. Oh, hey, Mama. How you doing? Hello. How are you? I'm doing great. My eternal, unconditional love to you, Mama. You know, oh, thank you so much. And same to you. And I want to thank you so much for everything. And for Sicily, you were, ah, oh, you were wonderful. We were wonderful. <laughs> 
<laughs> very good expression in this way it feels so good. Thank you. Thank you so much. I love you dearly. Keep love moving you. forward. You have a great gift, you know that. Mm -hmm. And the work that with the three of you, the work the three of you will do together and separately will be phenomenal with the world. I am so happy. <laughs> and I just wanted to ask, is there anything else, any, any ideas or that we can possibly do any more? Just do some meditations together. Join your forces in understanding, in, in prayer, in, in great things. You will manifest many things if you pray together. <laughs> Thank, you. Thank you. Be joyful with one another. Bring each other uplifting joy because you are in great places of understanding and love for one another and it will continue to grow. Oh. <laughs> Thank you very much. <laughs> such, such beautiful faces, yes. <laughs> ah, who else is to speak? Sorry. Or should I go? Are you growing tired? Oh, there's someone here in the room. One moment. Is Sean wanting to speak also? Hold on, Sean. Hi, Mother Gaia, Barbara. Hi, Barbara. Hi. Hold on, Sean. I will be with you in a minute. Ah. Hi there. Hi there. Good. Do you have any information or anything about my growth or that I need to know at this time? Mm -hmm. Ah, let's see. Your growth is actually coming along. You felt a little better in the last few days. And you are you see things a little differently the last couple of days. That is because the energies are finally getting through to you. Okay. You went through a period of very harshness. There was a harsh period where the energies were unkind. Oh dear, I'm sorry <laughs> for that. But they were moving things around and it was very harsh for you. But now you're seeing that they are coming into alignment and the things that are happening now are for your understanding. There is some channeling going on with you. Hmm. Yes. <laughs> I see it coming down through. I see the I see the the energies. So do not lose that. There's a message for you in that. I'm not sure what it is yet, but I know that it's there. <laughs> and it is a joyous message. Okay. And your friend in the forest. Uh, I love him. Yes. He will be getting closer to you. Okay, okay, okay. You, you've always wanted that. Yes, I do. And he will show himself again. Yeah, just let him know I love him. <laughs> he does. He knows that you love him. And your animals like him as well. Okay. They're, they're starting to really like him now because they know he's safe and beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> they see him a lot too. Yeah, they do. They bark at him and things oh, of yes. that nature. Yes. <laughs> so anyway, yes, what else did you want? Uh, do you, when I meditate in the morning, I do my grounding. Do you feel my grounding? I sent you some energy yes. every morning. Thank you for all of you that send me energy. I am so grateful for that because energy, I can, I, there's never enough energy, is there? <laughs> I can survive on a little bit of energy, but the more energy that you send me is great. I feel very energetic right now, and I know that as these final days of the conversion of energies comes, things will be wonderful. Now, I just have one more question about my cat. Yes. Patches, how is she doing? Is she have much longer? She's pretty... No, she, unfortunately, she's coming to her time. She is getting close to... She is very old. Yes. And she is... A little grouchy at these, this point. Lately, yes. Yes. <laughs> she's a little grouchy. But anyway, she's having some liver problems and some kidney problems. And, yes. Um, she's bad. having some problems there. And when they fail, then that will be the end. So is there anything I could do for her, I should do for her, that can make her life easier, better? Actually, you are doing the best that you she's can. She's happy as she is right now. She's as happy as she can be, yes. And she's not in any great pain, but she sleeps okay. a lot. And she's doing a lot of resting because that's what the body says to do. So let her do her resting, and she is 
in a better place. Okay. And she's not she's not in much discomfort except for it takes ten minutes to pee. So it's it's like forever for her to go to the bathroom. So she's like, <laughs> why don't they just come out? I can't do it. But anyway, ah, that is all that she is feeling is the, the extreme pain sometimes to go to the bathroom because it would that won't Maybe come out. Maybe I should out. just give her Reiki more when she's going to the bathroom. Yes, she needs to a little more Reiki when it comes to the urination. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, but that is the, that's the way it is. <laughs> she can't pee, so there it is. <laughs> oh, thank you very much, my You're welcome. You. I love you too. Okay. All right, Sean, did you have something? Yes. Um, earlier on, you were talking about um, people will be feeling you in their heart uh, with... Uh, the Father Sky and you and um, early on I literally had to lie down on the ground and uh, I just felt this like energy in my heart and it was like a strong connection with my heart. I'm just curious, was that you? Did you yes, you felt the energy when you laid on the ground? No, I actually had to lie on the ground because it was so powerful. It was just like, you know, it, it was you and it was like Father, yes, gone. it was me. Yes, that was me. Of course, yes. I love it, and thank you so much for, for, for being so obedient to many different things. I love you very much, and you love yourself, and that is the beauty of your expansion. You love everyone around you so fully. You, everyone can feel your love. And that is a beautiful thing. Ah, oh, it's beautiful. Thank you. But I must go now. I'm sorry if there's more questions. I this body needs to drink some liquid. Thank you for bringing so much joy. All right. Thank you. Thank you, Gaia. Thank you for coming. Thank you for having me. <laughs> Blessings to you. I'm sorry, did someone say something to me? Much love. Ah, oh, thank you. I will bring back this entity now. Have a great day. Much love. <laughs> much love, much love. Love is such a beautiful thing. Such a powerful word. Use that word a lot. Yes. Hello. 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 Hey. Oh, hi. How are you? Welcome back, Jim. Have a drink. Welcome back, Jim. Thank you. Hey. Welcome back. Hey. How are you doing? Wow, wow Jim. Hey. Great stuff. Hey, Jim. Yeah. Oh, thanks. Hey, Jim. Hi. How are you? Good. Great. Thank you. Does anybody? Um, I don't know what time it is at all. Ten to twelve. Ten to twelve. Ten to wow. Okay. Um. Does anybody want to close with a prayer? I'd be happy to, Jim. This is Wendy. Yeah. Wendy, anybody don't use the mic. Wendy, I'm sorry, I forgot. I unplugged it. Yeah. There you go. Does anybody want to close with a prayer? I want to. Good, Sarah. Yeah. Please do. Yes, sir. Okay, Sarah, you go ahead, and then I'll go after you. Okay. Galanikia Sukuha Sinikia Suha Nashalataya Tu Shatana Kushutu Hatiasa Hatuna Hasikaya Sukuna Hanukutu Hatiasa Kashana Kataana Kiasa Kushutuna Hatiasa Katana Kutu Ushata Ashutuku inikiti ishata hatiya sukutuna 
hasula dana ya sakaya sukutuha niya suk inayak ink in kutu a siata. Ah, we look down upon the earth and wish many great things for Mother Gaia and those that are acquainted with her. The beings that walk upon her and live upon her, we love you very much and are giving you our energies as we speak now. Behold, there is new life coming to your planet. Behold, there is new energies awakening and becoming part of who you are. We love you and we will always be with you. We are anxious to meet you in person and anxious to welcome you into the galaxy as our friends. Love and light to you always and energy and prayers. We connect with you through ourselves and through our light beings and we pray that you will always be with us. Namaste. 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 Anushua, Anushua Koya. Visitu Akashaya Malia Sotora Kashakia Toyukuala Amalua Sotoyukura Sita. Mali Satolura Satika Ki Malia Sotolura Hashaha. No Kura Sati La Hasatapura Kashitura Kapala Inkuasa. So do kwa sati ailia sotru kwa shia kapora hina. So to a ai kailia sotru kwa sayuwa sosora hima kaiwa soa. La kia anuna. Apura kaitia ko yokwa salua kakiso. So yokura inkailia sotru kwa shi tu a maiala. Inana raha satora. Kipia koko and kiatilia so yokwa shaha la kito luko shamaha. Sitiala inkiatalia sosora hita. Titiela aqua poya ain to luko asai, Nisiana tiacora, Shayo quahina, So puraka ki to luaka ima aluso suraka shaha, Niana nanaso sura, akitu, O uncle yasasiana nawa aloso, Kayoqua, Ankiat luso, Kayama ala toaka shoyoko unguriasa toko, Pa yala isa, Ananaso to luko hakoa. Piaiwala ati nila aliyawa inama kwa kuyo sawa shuto kipia toyo kwa shiita halamala aloa kuyo haya shaya kwa ma matio sawa mahala toya namaste. Did they give you the interpretation? Not entirely. <laughs> they gave it to me, but they said they gave it to you as well. <laughs> All right. Yeah, go ahead, Jim. <laughs> From the tops of your mountains to the deepest depths of your oceans, there is new energy being brought forth. Enlighten yourself with it. It be be aware of your new vision of it. Your eyes will change. Your heart will change, and the things of this earth will come more into focus for you. You will also gain those fourth dimensional things that you've always desired at this time. Remember to be careful in what you say. Be careful in what you do and how you treat others. Be the example that is that you are meant to be and be the person that you are meant to be on this life. We are watching, we are helping, and we love that you have your own ways about you that are different from any other ways in the universe. And we love that you have a different heart than the, any other heart in the universe. Individuality is a beautiful and wonderful thing, and we are so happy that you indulge in it freely. Now, be the creators that you are. Be the associates that you are. Be the community that you are. Be all the strong and wonderful things that will make the earth a better place. And do not bow down to the negative energies 
but stand up and be the light that shines on them and extinguishes them. Find a way to get through all your problems without burdening others. Find a way to bring yourself to a lighter space so that you can move through your griefs and your troubles in a way that is less toiling, less heavy, and less part of third dimension. There are ways for you to be greater and more equipped for what is coming, and we will help you with that. Call on those that are of the light. Call on those that will help, and lean on them only when you need to, for your own strength is needing to be established. But yet, there are times when you do need a hand to hold or confidence to move forward, and that way help each other. Be the light in each other's eyes. Thank you, Jim. Namaste. Jim, I have one more. Yes. Okay. Saliara Santi Kora Pashala Rakase, Ndi Kara, Yara Falaka, Yafariama, Di Kara Patika, O Fala, Sikandia, Ombara, Yalerisita Kopatisha, Loria Mende, Gadala Oraka, Yasandi, Obara, Kafaloria Kata, Dito, Bateshana, Lefalo. Pachi Tikata. Namaste. Feel one to another the energies that exist there and bring yourself up. See that there are those that have the light dimming in them and bring them up. Love yourself as one would love a joy or a gift and make sure that you are loving others as you would love yourself. Take care to not bruise your heart in a way that is hard to mend, because when you find yourself in harshness, it does take away from your abilities. I would like to see your abilities grow and stay away from the negativities that cause them to diminish. Bring yourself up. Notify yourself that you are whole and that there is nothing that is lacking. And if there is something that is necessary to fill in the holes, find it and bring it to yourself. Your meditations do not have to be as deep as the ocean to be effective but they must reach the heart and reach the soul. Be mindful of all those around you and be mindful that your love is going out in a most beautiful way. The example of you is the example of the universe. Namaste. That last one was rough, but it came. <laughs> All righty then. Have a wonderful day. Is there any announcements, Guru Dan? Just a couple. I'd like to rattle off real quick. Um, we have the guided meditation uh, tomorrow at um, 5 p.m. Eastern with Karen, Karen Newman, tomorrow right. evening. Yes, yeah, so we're going to be focusing on uh, learning to see from the heart perspective and, and making that, uh, that connection between the third eye and shifting down to seeing from the heart area and learning how to, to pull that energy down and, and open up your heart and, and see from that perspective. That sounds great. 
then after the guided meditation, there's a channeling by Neil scheduled right afterwards with uh, Jeshua, the Jesus channeling that Neil has going on. And then on Monday at noon Eastern is the Reiki One class with Jim and Max. So on Monday the 19th, that will be going on. And that's all I have for just right now. There are a lot of events popping up all of the time on the Google Plus events page. Sometimes they don't always make it to the Human Colony page. So please watch the Google Plus events page for things that, that pop up, uh, you know, from time to time. You never know what's going on. Yeah, there's and that's all I have for now, Jim. So many events are just popping up. It's a wonderful thing. And if you want to have a, an event of your own, just schedule it, and uh, we'll see what you we, what everyone can do for you. So, so many of you are taking great initiatives. Much love to you for that. Thank you, Jim. Thank yeah, you for everything you guys do for us. Oh, you're so welcome. What a beautiful day, and so many gorgeous, beautiful entities and energies today. Thank you. Wonderful. All right, who's hungry? Yeah, I'd like to... <laughs> Everybody's hungry. I like to remind everybody to check the Google Plus events page before they create an event so they're not stepping on any other events. Toes. Oh, okay, that's a good all idea. Thank you for now. that. Thank you, Guru Dan. Yeah, that's a great Otherwise, great, great otherwise that's all I have. Uh, thank you, everybody, for coming. And if we are all set, I will go off live. All right. Thank you, everybody. Uh, Much love. Much love. Bye bye, everybody. Thank you, Dan. Bye-bye. Right. Thank you. Bye, everybody. <laughs>